Most of the elements that make up the Ariane 5 come to the space base by ship from Europe. They then travel by road to the space base and their assembly begins in the launcher integration building. Here the main or lower stage is erected vertically. The two solid boosters, which are made here in French Guiana, are transported to this building for positioning on either side of the main stage. Then the upper stage is integrated onto the lower stage and at this point Ariane is moved to the final assembly building. The satellites arrive by plane. RSAT-1 came on September 1st and Intelsat on September 10th. Their preparation began in facilities not far from the launch pad, specially dedicated to satellite operations. Satellite preparations are carried out in parallel with assembly of the launch vehicle. Their preparation includes weighing and testing by special teams in clean rooms. All their systems are checked, everything from electric cables to solar panels. With these tests completed, at the end of September, they were filled with the fuel they'll need for their lives in space. Meanwhile, Ariane Space and customer teams meet on a daily basis to review ongoing activities and set plans for the coming days. In all, campaigns usually take around six weeks to ready both launcher and satellites. When filled, the satellites move to the final assembly building. Here they're mated atop the launcher. RSAT-1 was put in place first in the lower position, Intelsat-30 was enclosed inside the fairing, and this composite was then hoisted atop the launcher above RSAT-1. A launch readiness review meeting gives the green light for the launcher to be rolled out on the rail track to its position on the pad. This occurs the day before launch. Ariane 5 is ready. Now fixed to the launch table, she makes her way slowly to her position where she will await the final countdown before her mission begins.